Hi everybody, Debbie here with Debbie Gets Crafty. I have a couple of unbaggings that I wanted to show you. These both came from, of course, Amazon, one of my favorite places to shop. So um, one of them is a diamond painting package of two diamond paintings, and one of them is an accessory uh, of sorts. So let's start out with the accessory. So I am going to be um, making some projects other than diamond painting and of course using these for diamond painting as well. And uh, I did have, I do have another package, but I wanted to get these specifically. And they are some special drills. So let's go ahead and crack into them. And it's a nice little pack. And I do have, I will have the links down below to each of these items that you can get. Let me move this out of the way first. Okay. So it came with a package of red and green special drills. And then a pack with the gold and the, the silverish color drills as well. And this package also comes with some additional pieces. We have a nice, oh, a nice pointy, really sharp tweezer. I'm going to definitely keep the, they're really nicely made. You can definitely tell uh, that they're very sturdy. Definitely keep the, the sleeve on it. And also you get a nice wax pencil. If I could take the cover off, there we go. So this is a wax pencil that you would use to pick up the diamonds and place them on whatever project you're working on or if you do nails something like that and you can sharpen it with a regular pencil sharpener as you can tell it's got a nice sharp point to it already but that will get duller it will dull down once you start using it and then all you need to do is just sharpen it with your pencil sharpener and bring that point back up and you can use it and you can use your tweezers to pick up the special gems as well and now let's get into the into the gems themselves there we go well maybe not I know there's an opening here somewhere. Here we go. Okay. And I hope everybody is having an awesome day. I know I have. It's the 1st of October. It's going to be a beautiful month. So this is our silver and the gold. Love the beautiful iridescent colors that pop from those gems. Let's go ahead and open some up so you can see. Let me get a plate here. There we go. There you go. So that's the largest size that they have. They beautiful. And then the smallest that they have, really tiny. Try to open this up. There we go. They are super tiny. But like I said, I have different projects that I'm going to be using these on. pretty. Look at those sparkle. 
love those colors. So that's that set. And then we have the red and green because of course I will be using these for Christmas projects. So we'll go ahead and show you some of the red ones. Aren't they pretty? show you some of the green ones too. There you go. Aren't they nice? So they'll look nice on some of the projects that I have waiting for them. We'll put those back. So these are my rhinestones that I wanted to use and I got those at Amazon. Again, along with the pencil, the wax pencil, and the nice heavy duty pointed tongs, tweezers. So that's that. And then, let's clear this all out. And then I got Diamond Grandma, a couple weeks ago, showed a two pack of pictures and I think they were, I think they were like flowers that she showed. And she had the link to that particular set. It was a two pack. And again, I'll share the link down below. When, unfortunately, when I, by the time I was able to get to it, uh, the particular designs that she had chosen were no longer available. But, this set of two was the first picture that came up and to be honest with you um it was like a, a great thing because i actually i'm so excited about these and i'll tell you why when you see them so let's go ahead and we'll take out the first one and uh Diamond Grandma loves her flowers, so she was, you know, she was able to get the ones with the flowers. I love the outdoors, and so when I saw these, and again, like I said, this, these were the first two that showed up. The, the flowers were no longer there, but these showed up, and as soon as I saw them, I thought, oh my stars, it, it was, it's fate that I was able to get, you know, to see these, and I will have the links down below with the prices included. So let's go ahead and we'll show you that it comes with your standard toolkit. Everything you need to work on a diamond painting is right here in this little bag. You get your green boat that will hold your drills, or they are sometimes called beads or sometimes diamonds, whatever you call them. Uh, you also get a, a little square pat of wax, and this is what you will use to uh, pick up the beads from the boat and place them onto the sticky canvas. And it also includes the pink applicator pen with a single placer. And what that means is you will dip this single placer, this pen tip onto the wax, grab a little wax. And then with that pen tip, you will pick up one of the, what they call drills or diamonds or beads. And that's what you will place onto the sticky adhesive of the canvas. So everything you need to complete a diamond painting is right here. Okay. And here are the colors of the drills. Beautiful purples and blues, grays. We'll go through those in just a second. And let's go ahead I'm just gonna this is pour glue so that's why I'm able to go ahead and roll this up like this ok 
Okay. And this is the painting. Isn't that beautiful? I love this scene. It's the treetops on a beautiful night, and it almost looks like uh, you see like shooting stars. There's the moon. You see some stars in the background, the beautiful trees. Beautiful setting. And I love this. And my husband and I love to go camping, and we tent camp. And this would be the perfect evening if you're, you know, if you're sitting out by the fire and you look into the sky and you see, you know, just past the trees, a beautiful moon, the moonlit sky, and uh, just, it's so peaceful. That is our version of heaven on earth for sure. So that's why when I saw those, I thought, well, I didn't get the flowers that Diamond Grandma likes, but I got the landscape and the scenery that I like. So these are really going to be a lot of fun to work on. I'm just taking out, uh, I just peeled back the plastic and you do that and you put it back down because this helps to relax the canvas. You see how much more relaxed the canvas sets? It lays flatter for you. So this particular painting is a 30 by 40, okay? and it has 20 colors and the there is a legend on the top left and the lower right and then and they are all in alphabetical symbols it does include the DMC numbers as well and let's take a quick peek here at this drill field Oh, that stick is good. That stick is good. And it's got a great amount. Look at how beautiful those symbols are. Clear as a bell. You get a nice amount of confetti. And then I see down towards the bottom, you get a little bit of... Uh, and confetti just means that you, you'll use... a different, uh, you get a mixture of colors in a section. And what I was going to say was towards the bottom, there's quite a bit more of color blocking. And what color blocking means is that you'll see a, a large, fairly large patch of the same letter so that you'll be doing the same letter in a larger patch as opposed, like just with the, with the trees, it's all for the most part, one letter. But when you get up closer to the sky, you'll see that there are symbols that are, for example, you'll see the W's, B's, D's, O's, R's. They're all a mixture in here. And that's confetti, as opposed to color blocking, which again is all one patch of color that you'll be working on. So it's got a nice mixture of confetti and of the color blocking. And it's just a beautiful picture. I mean, that, who wouldn't want to be there? You know, you see the, like an island out in the distance. This is all like a beautiful evening. I would love to be there. So that is one of the paintings that I got from this two pack. Let's go ahead and We'll take a look at the drills real quick. And again, there are 20 colors. They all are bagged in these small bags. So that's one of the colors right there. They do have on the bags themselves they have the canvas code on them, which will match the number 
of the canvas right there. So you'll see the canvas code. Now there is no DMC numbers on the bags, but that's okay. That's all right. So let's take a look at these colors. Beautiful colors. So here's some black. I love that gray. Look at the grays with the with the purple. Isn't that pretty? Some more gray. Oh, and these blues mixed in with this eggplant purple. It's almost like a periwinkle right here. I love it. And get some green. Some more blue. Some more green. Oh, that was my dog. Hang on just a second. You okay? Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let me get some purple. And that's a navy blue. So those are some really pretty colors. For sure. That's going to be a nice kit to work on. Let's see if we can't get these to go back into the bag. It's always a game of chance with me. Whether they go back in, they usually never do. Well, there we go. Once in a while, I get lucky. So that is our first picture. And now our second picture is a little different, but the same. <laughs> and you'll see. I'm just so happy I got these. And they were really very inexpensive. And again, I'll post the link down below. So of course, you get your toolkit, the same standard toolkit, everything you need to work on that painting. And here are some colors here. So a little different palette. I mean, you'll see a repeat with some of the same blues, but you'll see a mixture of some greens and some creams and even some brighter blues. And there's even a mixture of some pink in here and mauve and we'll see those in just a second so let me just go ahead and roll this up off camera there we go and there we go isn't that beautiful it's like you're looking at a lake when the moon is out, a full moon. Isn't that beautiful? That just reminds us of camping with the trees and the beautiful reflection of the moon on the lake. So much fun. Let's go ahead and flatten this out as well. Stick is good. Absolutely. It's another 30 by 40. And this one has 23 colors. Both are round drills and it's a full painting which means the entire picture, everything you see in the picture has beads that go on it, the different color beads. and that lays flatter. These are, this one is also in alphabetical order. I'm not in, I'm sorry, not in alphabetical order. It is it uses alphabet 
the alphabet for the symbols, but it's not in alphabetical order. It also has the legend up top left, lower right, and it does include the DMC numbers as well. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And you can tell with the beautiful pinks, and it's just a beautiful, like a summer evening, a full moon during a summer evening. And let's look at the colors. So it's along the same line as the first one. But this one is just a little different with its color palette. But I think once they're both done, they would look beautiful hanging side by side. Because it's all the same type of a theme. And again, the DM, the DM, there are no DMC numbers on the bags, but there is the canvas code, which is great because I usually save my, I usually s sort my drills, put them separately from my canvases. I usually lay my canvases flat and put the drills in a, in a container, uh, the packages like this. So here we go with the colors. So you see right off the bat, you'll see this beautiful red color and the wine color. Of course, that mauve. And then you get into the blues that marry nicely with the other picture and the grays. Love these blues. Look at these blues all together. Aren't they beautiful? And then again with the coral colors. They're really going to be nice because uh, that sunset. With the pinks, mauves, and then the last set of colors, colors you'll see, you'll get that green, and that creamy color, and then the white. So really nice palette of colors on that as well. And I'm really super looking forward to doing these. I may save these because in November, Diamond Grandma, it is her birthday month. And for her birthday month, she is doing an event called Landscapes. Hashtag, I believe it's hashtag DP Landscapes. It may be hashtag Landscapes 22. Uh, I will get that correct and put that in the link below as well. And I think I might save those for her event in November because I think that would fit the landscape scene beautifully. So, oh, I got lucky a second time here and put the drills back into the case correctly. Well, now. All right. Perfect. And again, we'll take a look at that picture and then we'll see. See how beautiful they look together? They're going to look really nice when they're done. And I will be putting these on my wall next to each other because I think they just will look so nice together on the wall. It just sends me back to camping. I love it being outside. So these are, are, these are my purchases that I made from Amazon, along with our rhinestone drills that came with the pencil and the tweezers. So that's all I have for you today, my friends. I thank you so much for spending a few minutes of your time with me so I could share this unbagging with you. And I want to please ask if you've not done so already, go ahead and please like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell notification so you're made aware of each time I upload a video. And say hello down below in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. And I do want to thank you for subscribing, for those who have already subscribed, and for those who are thinking about subscribing. We'd love to have you join the family. I also have a Facebook 
group with my twin sister Judy who has a All Fired Up Crafting Lounge. That's a channel here on YouTube as well. Our Facebook group's name is Sassy Crafting Sisters and we invite you all to stop on by and join our great little group of crafty friends and until we see each other again please folks please be kind to yourselves look after your friends family fur babies and neighbors and until we see each other again i want to say thank you so much and you have a great day goodbye now <music>